morning guys well hi <laughs> happy sunday and welcome to a new video i <laughs> i am in Fribourg, which is a different city canton and yeah it's pretty cool <laughs> such a nice spot in the sun I don't actually know where I am but oh my gosh it's currently three degrees so anything in the sun right now is amazing um, I'm gonna be on my way to the cathedral but I'm gonna stop and have a, a gipfeli which is a croissant and yeah a little a breakfast stop while the sun's out <laughs> Nicholas Cathedral. Are you kidding me? It is beautiful. <gasps> it's so big. But literally there's no one here. Look at that. I'm kind of intrigued. So apparently this cathedral is really like a big landmark. <gasps> a little alleyway. Look at this. Look at this. But I don't know if I can go in or if it's too early to go in because usually you can go in these cathedrals. So I'm just going to walk around it to enjoy its beauty. Oh, the architecture guys is amazing. Oh my gosh. benches like these to sit on and to chat to you guys also just to to be in the sun when it's like it's getting warm at three degrees but man it's it's cold in the shade so like moments in the sun is just good to defrost <laughs> but one thing I have noticed like the minute I got off the train, I was definitely more in like the French side of Switzerland. Everyone is speaking French and it's so different. Even like the architecture, the feeling, it just feels like you're in France somewhere. And yeah, like when people greet you, they're like, bonjour. Like it's so cool. Like I love it. And so yeah, I just, as you saw, we finished from the cathedral. I'm now going to be heading to Chapelle Loretta. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I'll show you when I get there. <laughs> too steep but for a walking path that I'm usually used to it's a little steep but are we doing it because we're gonna get there oh 
Oh wow, people left like their names on the rocks. Can you see? Look at all of these. Wow. I wonder what this means. I wonder if it's like that. Letter to Juliet. <laughs> you know where you write? Maybe not actually. Cute. But guys, it was so funny. I was little, like I had a pit stop. Just, you know, in the sun. And this lady full on like spoke, I don't know, French or Swiss French. I don't know. Full on. And I was like, girl, I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> But I could understand a little bit, but I was like, ooh, I like just try to get my German, <laughs> and now I'm by the French side, and I really don't know my French. I wanted to give you guys, someone's practicing trombone somewhere, but what I wanted to say was, Today's Sunday and in Switzerland usually most of the sh stores are closed and so it's pretty nice that the city is not busy. So a little tip, if you don't like a lot of people to be around but still want to explore the city, go on a Sunday in Switzerland. I would suggest it's so nice and also for me I like to shoot videos. I feel kind of weird doing it when there's a lot of people because I don't want to like I want to protect their privacy so Sundays are prime here in Switzerland guys like there's not many people out also it's quite it's early morning so that could also be a reason but also go during like when there's a lot of people because then you can feel that city energy in a different country especially here I'm like oh wow they are practicing up there it's like a whole band Anyway, that's just my little tip for you as I'm busy trying to climb these steep stairs. But yeah, I'll see you when I get there. Oh my gosh, the band's playing. Can you hear them? I'm not gonna lie, there's something about like, I don't know, I feel like I'm in a movie where there's like, on an entrance, you know, like the opening scene, I don't know. <laughs> Literally got to watch them play. They're still busy playing. And I actually have no idea where I'm going. Oh, wow, look at this. It's just, I just laugh at the fact that. Um, they just think I speak French and I don't have the nerve to say I don't know what you're saying. Ugh. But they're still playing down there in here. So freaking cool. And every, like, wait, 
It's just can you hear them play? So beautiful. Like ever since I've been learning how to play saxophone, I appreciate live music so much more because I know the work and the effort and the time goes into like practicing, rehearsing. It's just like I honestly feel like it's such an honor to like listen to people play music, like play the instrument. And it sounds so good. Flip, I love it. I don't even know they, who are they. Like I don't know what kind of band or group they're from, but what a nice little surprise on this fine day. Shall we continue? If I thought coming up was steep, coming down, you know when you're like coming down on a mountain and your legs are shaking? My legs are currently doing that at the moment. But I'm on my way to Pointe de Milieu. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I'm really excited to go there. I think it's pretty famous for Fribourg. So, yeah. Also, that band are like some of the most joyous, fun people like I ever met. Like, they just were like, what song do you want to play? And I was like, I don't know, like, what song can you guys play? So nice. Also, it's definitely becoming spring. It's warmer now. Sun's out. I'm getting a little warmer as well, so I'm excited to just chill for a bit and maybe have a little, little cool drink. <laughs> And I need to go on that side. Maybe. So, we're gonna have a little spit stop somewhere, maybe at these benches. Or, I see steps coming down by the bridge. Oh, this is cute. Pop myself here. Yeah, I'll just sit on these steps, and this is my view. Look at that. Look. That. Let me get down that. It's literally so beautiful here. Like you have the rubber flowing, the birds are chirping. And I think the best part is that all these like touristy landmarks, spots that you can go to, are in really close walking distance from each other. There are bus routes that you can take that will lead you to each. But I personally just enjoy the walk because you can take, you like, can stop and see the cute cafes and shops along the way. I mean, they're not open, but it's just like window shopping. It's just kind of cool. And I just enjoy just taking my time and really soaking like the root in and the nature and the people actually, the people are really friendly uh, even though I don't understand a word they're saying they are quite nice and I'm enjoying this so far, I hope you guys are too I think, I don't know where we're going after this I think I'll stay here for a while um, just because it's such a nice spot and literally I think on the other side of the bridge there's people and there's a guy fishing further that way but that's and then there's me um, but I think
think after this I'm gonna go to the famous bridge, well the popular bridge, which is Point de, de Burn, Bern? Point de Bern, Bern? I don't know how you pronounce it, but that's where I'm gonna be heading next. So, but for now I'm just gonna chill and take it easy. <laughs> oh my gosh! That was pretty special, like two massive geeses um, just flew by, but I'm still at the bridge, the first bridge. Um, it's quite nice here, I'm enjoying the sun, and I think I'm going to actually have lunch because it's 12 now, so I think I'm going to stay, I found like a little nook still in the same spot but a little bit further down because pretty cozy um, also on the other side more people are there now and yeah I think I'm fine just to chill here so I'm gonna have lunch I'll show you what I got <laughs> no it's good thank you <laughs> A little sandwich at Po Pronto. Also, another tip for you guys: if you go out, I would suggest buy you like snacks, like because restaurants in Switzerland are pretty expensive, and for every time you go out and every meal or every coffee drink, it adds up, you know, including like your travel fare amount so what I usually do is just buy some snacks and it's literally not even like it's less than half the price that you would pay for a meal so it's quite nice or well, actually half the price it's like half the price you would pay for a meal and you get snacks and a drink and it's I mean yeah but it is nice to go to a restaurant and just try the things out so do that what works for your budget I would say but on these day trips I kind of just enjoy taking snacks with me and finding little spots like these to eat it at so bon appetit <laughs> mm, can you see to show what this bridge is called I'll put it down here but now I'm walking through like the middle section like where the you can drive and you can drive above it this is incredible and the views <gasps> shut the front door I'll show you look at that and then hello oh 
glorious and then the other side this is beautiful I don't know what to do I'm just like all I want to do is stand here and just take it all in it's so pretty oh <laughs> So I may walk on the top level of the bridge which is, I don't know if you can see it, that over there and it actually just leads to the cathedral so either I'm going to check out the cathedral again if I can somewhat um, get in or just around the street. 